wow wow the black community is never going to have anything I have long since been a fan of that concept would be over most people's heads to kind of understand because you're talking about a paradox but what lessons can we learn from this beef between Ringo and New Breed that within the black community even though we all share the same skin color we have to look deeper than that in order to be able to figure out how to come together and like I said before I believe in unity through separation and I'm, I'm somebody who was born in Baltimore also raised in DC raised in Baltimore and DC so I know very much about the urban or the hood or the ghetto culture but there came a certain point in time closer to my teenage years where I was able to get out of that environment and get into a more well-off environment so my perspective is totally different than most people who never had that opportunity and I say that to say that within our community the black community there's different types of black people there's the black people who are from the ghetto but they are also ghetto because you can be from the ghetto but not be ghetto you know what I'm saying like I'm somebody who's like that but then you have some people who are from the ghetto will leave the ghetto get to a better place and still be ghetto Ringo and New Breed have recently been beefing because New Breed helped Ringo moved from New York to Carolina and they're beefing about or over $3,500 $3,500 so to sum, to sum everything up what happened from my understanding New Breed was located, in, was located in Atlanta he flies out to New York then helps Ringo load the truck and drives the truck down to Carolina Ringo paid for the flight for New Breed to fly from Atlanta to New York he paid $2,500 for the moving truck and New Breed is helping Ringo because Ringo did not want to pay $3,500 to a moving company white owned and he states that he would rather put that money where he can see it New Breed misunderstands him and because I heard New Breed like last week say that Ringo had said that I would rather give this money to a brother so I'm assuming that's where this really kicks off really got started because New Breed assumed that Ringo was saying that he would he was going to give that $3,500 to New Breed that is New Breed's mistake big mistake he heard what wasn't said I believe both of them are right in some instances and wrong in some instances as well there was a le apparently never a financial agreement in the beginning between Ringo and New Breed Ringo never promised any money to New Breed for doing this so New Breed thought he was getting compensated now New Breed said multiple times it was a misunderstanding so he was honing, owning up to the fact that he misunderstood what Ringo said I think that's where a lot of this gets started but at the end of this Ringo is saying that he gave New Breed the money apparently from what I hear it was like a thousand dollars New Breed gave some of it if not all of it back I don't know I heard like 300 at one point I heard all of it at one point but New Breed gives some of the money back or all of it because of the misunderstanding my whole thing is this Ringo is right for saying that there was never an agreement there was never a contract that was sadly New Breed's assumption it was New Breed's mistake hearing something that wasn't said but at the same time why I said I believe in unity through separation one of the things that is never talked about in the ghetto because it's not hood to do so is ethics fair play courtesy those three words ethics courtesy and fair play those are not street at all those are not hood at all and that's why we're we're seeing this problem now while on the lowest possible level there was never any contract between Ringo and New Breed so Ringo is absolutely right he did not owe New Breed anything physically because of no physical contact contract ethically speaking 
Speaking in terms of courtesy, speaking in terms of fair play, Ringo could have willingly and sh realistically should have willingly, if if we are good people, if we're good people, he would have willingly offered compensation. You have a person, I'm sitting here, it's like if I'm in his shoes, I have somebody who was in state A, flies from state A to state B, even though I paid, then from at state B helps me move load up a truck and then drives this truck from state B to say state C helps me unload this truck which the, apparently the work should have been done by a moving company but but two men did this I think that there's a point where Ringo is full of crap because he says he was doing it as a test okay you gave him the money to test him to see how much of a, what type of brother he is you failed the t if he failed the test you failed it worse because the same could be said for for Ringo while you while Newbury did help you for quote unquote what you thought was free or what was supposed to be free at least Newbury did the work he helped you load the truck he drove this truck 14 hours help you unload this truck and then requested money because he thought that he was getting paid at least he did the work before he requested the money so he worked for something and thought he was getting something but you t but but Ringo wants to test him to see what type of brother he is you allowed you failed the test work worse because you allowed somebody to fly from one state to another even though you paid help you load a truck then you let this person drive your stuff 14 hours, help you unload this truck, and then you're mad, You and, and you let, oh, and by the way, when in New York, from what I hear, you wanted to move three in the morning. So not only was, like, I've helped multiple people move, I have never heard of something like that where everybody's moving at like three in the morning. I mean, to each his own, but yo, the reality of it is you allowed him to do too much. So I wouldn't, that's, you needed the help, that's fine. We all need help in different ways sometimes. That's perfectly cool. That's no fault for needing help. But to, to show such little humility and so much, and so little appreciation for someone who flew to a new state for you, who drove 14 hours for you, who got up three o'clock in the morning to help you, even if they were getting paid, they still did it. So let's not overlook that. And all they wanted was compensation, which they thought they were gonna get. Who clear? Who admitted that this was a mis that they misunderstood? And they returned some of the money. So while yes, there was no initial contract. While yes, Ringo was right where he didn't technically have to give him anything con contractually, some based upon me not having a 100% hood attitude, I know that ethically, morally, if somebody had did that much, how the hell do you let them do that without any type of consideration of compensation? And I'm not even I'm not like most people where they're saying, oh well, he should have gave him 3,500. Oh hell no. See, outside of the outside of the hood, outside of the ghetto, there's this mentality where we all can win. And this was an opportunity for both of them to win. So Ringo had to pay $2,500 for the truck, and then uh, uh, the estimate was $3,500 for the moving company. That would have been about $6,000. The truck, they talk about the truck, well, I would have paid twenty five. You were going to pay that regardless. You were moving, no matter who it was, you were paying for that, so that's not even worth the conversation. The $3,500... You paid for the plane ticket. You real like you didn't invite his wife. Realistically, New Breed could have paid that, or should have paid that, or at at the least you split the difference. And it was like eight hundred and fifty for two tickets, so it would have been like four twenty five per ticket. So he could have paid two hundred each. Each could have paid like two hundred and twelve dollars and got his wife her ticket. So Ringo could have out of the thirty five hundred, he could have spent about seven hundred dollars on the plane tickets. I'm rounding it up a little bit. Seven hundred dollars on a plane ticket, which would have had him sitting at twenty-eight hundred dollars, 
because he would have paid you know off um twenty eight hundred dollars left over. Then whatever other expenses there were, there were because when you get to new new North Carolina, he should have been providing lodging for um new breed, which he did offer, which would have saved him money, and then he would have paid maybe a couple hundred bucks for the uh, transportation home, like renting a car home for new breed and his wife. So that means he would have been sitting at. 2600 or let's say 2500 um after those expenses if you're sitting on 2500 because you saved 2500 i'm not even saying give them 2500 but i'm saying the bare minimum you should have been willing to willingly give new breed would have been like 500 bucks but you gave him a thousand so that is fair compensation that is fair compensation he paid for plane tickets um food and lodging and then compensated them for a thousand dollars that's perfectly fine the only problem is is not the amount it's the fact that he didn't willingly do it and he was using it as a test there is no way in hell that you should have been testing him after asking him to do what he did for you whether or not he was in it for the money or not now outside of the ghetto we like to say something that's, that's quib pro quo meaning something for something something for something um, I do things for free all the time for my friends. They do stuff for me. But it is a courtesy that I offer compensation. If they give me a ride, I'm like, oh, here's like 10 bucks for gas or something like that. Then they'll say no. And I do the same thing for them. It's a courtesy. It's not a word that's popular in the, in the urban culture, in the hood culture. Courtesy, ethics, fair play. It would have been correct. It would have been ethically right to offer him. Oh, here's, you could have been like, here's 750 bucks. And he could have turned it down or he could have accepted it. Either way was cool. Because not to mention, not only did he do that, not only were you calling him a friend, but you know that he has two kids on the way. So why, what's wrong with him trying to make some money when he has, he, he needs to have more loyalty to his family than he does to you. So he got to take care of them kids. He got to take care of his wives. He has to, you know, um, take care of himself. Self-preservation should always come first with the rules of nature. And he's and like I said before, he worked for it. So it's not like he tried to shortchange you. It's not like he tried to steal anything. He worked and requested payment. There's nothing wrong with that. And you didn't have to. And it's one of those things where y'all both got to take it on the chin, because new breed, you got to do a, you have to do a better job listening, bro. You need to do a better job with your initial logistics. The fact that you thought that you were getting paid, you should have cleared that up before you left Atlanta. You should have went over all the details. Um, of what the compensation was, how much was going to get paid, how long were you going to be there, where you're going to stay, all that type of stuff before you left Atlanta. That's on you. You assumed that you heard what you, you thought that you heard what you heard, and then you didn't follow it up to confirm it. That's on you. So the reality of it is, New Breed showed up, worked. Um, it would have been right to compensate him, but Ringo was also right that there was no contract. So the reality of it is, New Breed needs to do a better job listening. Ringo needs to be more ethical when it comes to these type of things and stop being so narcissistic. And this wouldn't have happened. Both of you made mistakes. Both of you were in the wrong. Um, Ringo's was more on an ethical level that you said that that was your friend. You knew that he was having a kid and you didn't even consider giving him compensation. It's one thing if you compensated him and then he asked for more and he had a problem with it. That's one thing, but the fact that you let that man go through three states for you, the fact that you got him up three o'clock in the morning moving on a job that should have been done with more people, the fact that you let him do that and then you and then you don't even consider compensating, you wrong for that. It it was on him whether or not he wanted to accept that money or not, but it would have been it would have been the right thing, scripture or no scripture, it would have been the right thing to offer him as a courtesy. See, this is why black people are so, a lot of black people are so bad at business. This is why we can't have shit. Because there's no ethics. There, there is no fair play. Everybody wants to have that hustle, men, hustler mentality. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I got to get my bag. I got to get mine. And then you want, and then you talk about we're supposed to all come together. This is why I am a huge fan of unity through separation. I want to go with my people who know how to run businesses. Who understand that this is the first time we're meeting each other. This, we're putting the best foot forward. We're showing each other, hey, you know, I'm a good dude. I'm, you're a good dude. Let's work together. 
It's just like playing chess, which most people can't do. Chess will favor the person who can see the furthest in the future, the most moves in advance, and the person who reads the board the better. Better. This was an opportunity for you both to win. You could have paid that man $1,000 and then probably walked away with just over $1,500 in savings. And you would have been good. So you would have saved some money. He would have made some money. Everybody wins. But in this culture, y'all aren't worried about everybody winning. You're worried about getting yours at the expense of other people. This is why I am a huge, I do not, all that unity, we all got to come together. That shit is un, it's not illogical. People always talk about a house, house divided cannot stand, but nobody's smart enough to talk about how do you unify a house. To unify a house, you have to have house rules. There has to be some type of structure to unify a house. We have to be on the same accord. And, and mentally, we are not on the same accord. Some people are going to live and die with that, with that ghetto mentality. And people like myself, we're going to want nothing to fucking do with it. There is no unity. What we're going to do is we're, it's like having, being in class and you have straight A students and you have the stoners. You can't force them to work together and make everybody happy. You can put all the stoners together and you can put all the straight A students together. The stoners are going to be happy. The straight A students are going to be happy. But if you put them together, the stoners are going to be like, I don't want to do no work. And the, and the, and the straight A students are going to be like, man, y'all don't ever do nothing. And they're going to be fighting and nobody's going to win. You have to separate them. Send them their own ways. People who are willing to understand business and whatever are going to be the ones who are going to help really be able. And the ones who are going to who understand business, who are ethical, who have better morals, are going to be the ones who really should be the trailblazers for the community. Not the people who want to just be hustlers, thugs, talking about I'm from New York. You know, that's how we do it in New York. There is no goddamn way anybody can sit here and tell me if you take people, if you take a bunch of people who has the same mentality of Ringo and you put them in leadership positions and you try to build a nation with that shit, there is no way that that will work more than a couple of months. That thing would fall get would start falling apart from from the jump. And when and little side note, when it comes to Mark the Messenger, I hear people calling him weak and all this type of stuff because he didn't. No 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 no. Not all of us black people are gonna deal with everybody else's bull. He said it before. He don't like dealing with people. I'm all. I'm totally with him. People equal problems. People are a pain in the. A lot of people are a pain in the ass. And I don't. And and we don't have to spend our lives trying to hold your hand. We will sit here and initially say something. We'll tell you you're in the wrong. Like how people are telling you know Ringo, let it go. If you want to keep doing that, go ahead and waste your own life. Don't be trying to waste other people's lives. People are busy out here. People are actually trying to be productive and do something to help other people. So, no, there is nothing wrong with what Mark the Messenger did. I don't even know how long he even knew Ringo. Um, but apparently something rubbed, something happened with them, rubbed Mark the wrong way, and they went their, say, their separate ways, and nobody even really knew anything about it. That's how it's done. I can totally respect that. I could work with somebody like Mark the Messenger... I wouldn't want to work with somebody who has an attitude like uh, Ringo, because at least with Mark the Messenger, if something doesn't work out, you can you can have an easy break and just go your separate ways. But now you got to deal with all this bullshit drama from people like Ringo. So Ringo was in the wrong. Um, initially, it was more new breed for making the assumption, but at the end of the day, at this point today. Ringo's more in the wrong because R- New Breed been done apologize. He been said he made a mistake. He been tried to let it go. And then um, Ringo keeps egging this on. So at this point in time, where we could have kind of justified Ringo initially, at this point in time, you're doing too much, bro. Let it go. Um, anyway, this has been long enough. 21 minutes. I'm out. Peace.